Okay, so let's talk about the analysis of the uh, of your cobalt uh, concentration, your spectroscopy lab. Now, if you did the data, you should have absorbance values for a number of different amounts of cobalt that you have in solution uh, with your five different solutions. So you should get a nice graph. Now, so this is this is an example data. Now, <clears throat> what this has on the x-axis is the grams of cobalt in solution in the 25 mil solution at versus absorbance. Okay, so you should have a graph like this, but I will tell you that depending on your instructor, this could be significantly different. This is what they use in the lab manual, but I think you could also, for, for instance, use molarity, which is what I would prefer, where you have moles per moles of cobalt per liter uh, down here instead. So this could change depending on the instructor. So you need to add, make sure you know what your instructor wants you to do. Okay, if this were molarity, you'd have to divide this number, you know, molarity would be um, grams of cobalt in solution divided by um, the volume of the solution, which is probably, you know, point is 25 uh, mils, which would be 0.025 liters. And then you'd also have to uh, then also divide by um, the molecular weight of the cobalt uh, chloride um, dihydrate that you had, um, which uh, I don't have that molecular weight handy, but, um, but you would need to divide by that as well, okay? But, but let's just go with this, okay? So if this is weight, because this will give you the right answer as well, um, but again, make sure you know what your instructor wants. So you got a line, you should have the equation to the line, and you should have R squared. So then if you have an unknown, let's say your unknown um, I don't know, I'm just picking a number here, so this isn't actually the right answer, but let's say it has an absorbance, let's say, you know, um, uh, 0.15 grams has an absorbance of, you know, I don't know, uh, something like, let's say, 0.3. Okay, so then what you'd have to do is you'd have to first determine what, uh, how many grams of cobalt that corresponded to, and then you could figure out the mass percent. Okay, so if you had 0.3, so that would be the Y, so you would just substitute 0.3 in for this, solve for X. Okay, then X would give you the grams of cobalt, and so then the mass percent would be equal to X divided by 0.15 in this case, okay, times 100%. Okay, and then you should be able to calculate the theoretical mass percent for the various uh, potential uh, hydrate salts of the cobalt nitrate um, and figure that out. So, so you know, I think it's, it's not too hard a calculation, but again, it really depends on how much manipulation you have to do on this x-axis.